I want to make a short video about the Cordova camera plugin and specifically iOS permissions having to do with it. Now the iOS simulator won't use the camera. It can't use the camera. You can't take pictures with it. So you need an actual device in order to test. Before you can actually install and use the camera plugin on an iOS device, you need to set the permissions. Now, I've got uh, version 9.2 of Xcode. This is the latest version as of right now. Um, this is my config.xml file for the project. When you install the camera plugin, you're supposed to set up the variables to say the camera usage description is whatever you want it to be, the photo library usage description, whatever you want it to be. These are the messages that appear to the user when they're asked if they want permissions to for the app to access the photo library or the app to access the camera. This is all that we're supposed to have to do. We're supposed to add the plugin, give these descriptions, and then when the project gets built, these permissions are supposed to get copied into the permissions list, the plist file for the project in Xcode. Now that is not happening with the current versions. This is with version 7 of Cordova and with version 9.2 of Xcode. It's just not working that way. So there was an additional way that you were supposed to be able to write content to your plist file. If you were to go inside of your iOS platform tag and add the edit config, this was supposed to create this permission with this string inside of the plist file. That's not working for the camera plugin, so it's not getting transferred into the plist file. So I'm going to show you quickly how you can edit the plist file to add this permission. So this NS camera usage description. This is the permission that we're looking for. If I go into the CMRA, this is the name of my app, info.plist. This is the file. Inside of here, I don't see that. These are the user-friendly names for those permissions. Now, everything is inside this one tag. This is actually an XML file. Inside this root tag is all of my permissions. So I can click on the plus sign right here to add a permission. I can use that NS permission, that, the big, long, ugly name, or just scroll down through this list looking for privacy. So when we get down, they're all in alphabetical order. There we go, privacy. Inside of privacy, we're looking for this, the camera usage description. This is the one that we want. So I just click on that one. There we go. And then this is the value. So this is the reason that we're giving to the user for us to access the camera. So I want to take secret pictures of you. You know, something that won't worry them at all. Just to prove the fact that nobody really looks at those permissions messages, they just say yes. All right, and that's it. That is the plist file updated. Now you can compile and run. This will install. And I know you can't see it, it's off screen right now, but in my app I can click on my button to take a picture and it actually lets me take the picture. And there's no permission errors, no errors coming up here. I just took the picture with the phone. There, maybe you can hear it if I hold it up to the microphone. There you go. And no errors occurred. All right, so that is it. That's how you edit the plist file and add in these permissions for this one's for the camera. There's another one for the photo library. Good luck with that. Any questions, please leave them in the comments.